All right, I'll make this intro quick. We're reacting to Reckoner by Radiohead uh, from the basement version. I have never heard Reckoner before. Um, if you want to look for other Radiohead uh, reactions, at this point I've got like five more on my channel. So um, you may be interested in that. Uh, but let's get started. I really like the um, the last from the basement. We did a mood. It was great. I hope this song is drum heavy. I love drums. That um. Okay, I don't know why I'm pointing, but that guy on the right, I mean, I'll put a picture up on screen. It reminds me, um, his head shape reminds me of a character of a show. So. Oh, Tom's on a, uh, he's on the guitar this time. So clean, the amount of uh, the amount of artists I see sing live and they sound absolutely shocking. So much uh, different to what their fully mixed records sound like. But this song um, sounds like a bit of reverb. It sounds perfect. I like the, uh, the song itself as well. It's, it's like meaningful and, you know, soft, but then uh, it's got enough tempo and drums to uh, keep your attention. Or keep my attention. I, in general, lose attention. It's TikTok man. Black mold. switch up because but you can see him counting the notes that's quite cool to see I mean obviously his vocals are amazing but I love that guitar Up the job is about to come in. Any moment now, he's charging, he's charging it. Oh, there's another, another guitar, I think. To my left ear, behind me. The tambourine is coming. God. I like what I've noticed he has a little um, head bubble. So into
spam the shit out of it. That was, um, that was Reckoner by Radiohead from the basement. That was, uh, that was amazing. That was, um, I'd say in a lot of ways, uh, better than Nude, but then Nude is in a lot of ways better than Reckoner. They both have their strengths. I think in both songs, um, Tom sings his heart out and then, um, Nude is, the instruments kind of um help with the uh emotions that the vocals are trying to portray whereas um in this song it kind of feels like he his vocals are really pushing the emotion and then the instruments are kind of making it into like a a song do you know what i mean uh and i think that's great and uh i love the the, the tempo that this track was in it's right on my alley i love the drums and one thing I love about drums is when you've got uh, really nice drums, it's just as good when you take them away. Like for that section where there was no drums, uh, it's as good because it's um, having something there and then taking it away really puts emphasis on the fact that it's not there. And it really um, sets the tone of this kind of wasteland for his vocals to really be the only thing that's shining, do you know what I mean? And then the little guitar in the background, and it's it's just little little moments like that that this band can craft that, uh, you know, I, at least I don't see from um, many other places, but, you know, uh, my music taste is uh, quite different to this, I feel like. But nevertheless, amazing song, uh, amazing live, I will also have to listen back to the original to see how it compares to this, whether it's better or worse. Um, for this song, I'd probably give it around like an 8.2 from this live version. You know, it might change when I hear the actual track. If this isn't your first time seeing me react to Radiohead, maybe consider subscribing at this point. If this is your first, I've got like four or five more that you can uh, check out and see if you like. Uh, and if you want me to react to another Radiohead song, just comment it, I'll check it out. If you want me to react to another song that is a completely different artist, that's fine. Uh, comment that as well. Uh, like if you want, subscribe if you want. Uh, that's about it.